Hi guys, Mary Kate here. And this week's expert tip is going to involve intuition and manifesting using your chakras. As small business owners, we often are the ones that have to come up with our ideas and then bring them to fruition. And we need help. And the best source of help that we can often tap into is our own subtle energy system known as our chakra system. Our chakras, we have seven of them, run from our root at the base of our spine all the way up to the crown of our head. We have seven main chakras, and I'm not going to get into all of them today. That's a story for another day. I do want to focus on three of them, though. Well, that's two. Three of them. So the three chakras I want to focus on today are your third eye, which is the seat of your intuition and clear seeing, and your solar plexus chakra, which is the fiery manifesting chakra of self-esteem and confidence. Uh, that, uh, that is the chakra that gets things done. Its earth element is fire. And then our sacral chakra, which is the seat of our creativity. So we need all three of these to sort of talk to one another in order to get those ideas out of our heads and out into the world. And I'm gonna just give you a few tips on the best way to um, balance them and then activate them so they're optimated, so they're optimally flowing with energy and giving you the support that you need in your business. The first way that we can activate these chakras is through meditating. And I know the groan, I can't meditate. A simple guided meditation is all you need. You can find them on Calm, YouTube, Insight Timer. I love David G. He's probably my favorite uh, guided meditator. Meditator? I don't know if that's a word. But David G, and it's all one word, D-A-V-I-D-J-I. He has some fabulous meditations on activating all of your chakras or any one of the ones that we talked about. I have a favorite one that he does on manifesting and the solar plexus chakra, which is just fabulous for when you wanna really bring that idea to fruition. So look for David G and manifesting and meditating. And that's our my first tip for um, activating your chakras. The next one, of course, is essential oils, sort of my bread and butter where I started. And uh, the best way to create an essential oil blend is through focusing on what each different chakra does. So for the, the, the oils that I pulled today, these are for the solar plexus chakra, which as I mentioned earlier, is the fiery chakra that gets things, gets, gets you up and moving and gets things done. It's the difference between talking about an idea forever, like I'm gonna open a store, I'm gonna open a store, I wanna open a store, and actually doing it. That's your solar plexus chakra. When we don't feel confident in ourselves and in who we are, we're gonna to continue to talk about it and we're never gonna actually do it. So one of the ways that we can really activate that solar plexus chakra is through an oil that resonates with it. So we, uh, the color is yellow. I'm like, I'm trying to think of my colors. The color is yellow and citrus oils are really great to activate it. So I picked a few here. We've got pink grapefruit, We've got tangerine, but then to add a little bit of fire, a little bit of spice to it, I also pulled clove bud and I pulled ginger. And you can just kind of mix these together as you would like. And there's other oils too. This is just a brief, you know, just a quickie. Uh, you could make a roller ball with them. You could make an inhaler. You could diffuse them. You could just whip open the cap. If you just feel like you need a little bit of inspiration, you just go, wow, yeah. And it's also gonna wake you up too, especially these, these fiery ones. So I would say essential oils are a definite great resource, a great tool to have in your toolbox to activate those chakras. There's other oils for different chakras. If you wanted to do something more for uh, your third eye, you would do something a little bit more spiritual like frankincense and maybe a little bit of lavender or a little bit of Buddha wood. So if you're interested, you could always nerd out with me um, and we could talk about that more. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you a heads up on, on at least one chakra that, that you could open up and activate with some essential oils. Then the next and probably final one that I'll go over today are crystals. So crystals are an excellent way, as you guys already know, of, of opening your chakras, opening anything. They're, they're so popular right now uh, that you can use them for almost anything. This is carnelian, and carnelian resonates with your sacral chakra, which as I mentioned, is your second chakra. It's just below your belly button, and it's the seat of your creativity. So this little puppy, little baby, this cute little one, enhances your creativity and the flow of ideas. It's gonna increase your motivation, and it stimulates success in business and in financial endeavors, and helps you overcome negative thoughts. All things that you need to get an idea up and running. 
The next one I want to mention is citrine. And citrine is really great for your solar plexus chakra. You see how it's got a yellow color? Just like the solar plexus chakra color is yellow. And it also increases creativity and it activates your intuition. And it's just going to support you as you try to manifest. And it supports increasing self-esteem and self-confidence and also enhances concentration. So that's just another beautiful stone to use. And then you have your dun, 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 amethyst. You guys probably already knew that one. Uh, amethyst is great for your third eye to open up your third eye and just be able to bring into your vision that uh, dream, that idea, whatever it is that you have up there that's up here, it's gonna bring it to clear fruition, clear vision. Uh, and clary sage is another good oil for your third eye. I should have mentioned that. Clary sage means clear seeing. So obviously it literally means clear seeing, which is what you're trying to do. When you use amethyst, it's gonna activate your, your third eye. It's gonna promote positive dreams. It's going to help you receive divine guidance. And it's just basically gonna help you open up your intuition. Um, and bonus, it helps with meditation. So when you're doing that David G meditation, you wanna use that guy. Then finally, we're gonna talk about clear quartz. And clear quartz is a master crystal. And that means that it's gonna help balance all of your chakras. So it's like a you know seven in one tool. Um, it also, it's an amplifier of energy and that's also why they call it a master crystal. So putting these two together means that it's gonna amplify the energy of that amethyst. So putting them together on your third eye, it's also, gonna, it's also good for your crown chakra. Um, is really just going to amplify that energy. Um, it also promotes mental clarity and it's going to amplify your intention for manifesting too. So uh, today I have tumbled crystals and I'm just going to briefly tell you that tumbled crystals have a more subtle energy than rough crystals. Tumbled crystals have been shaped and buffed and polished, whereas uh, rough crystals which I have in my pocket. And that's what you, what you can do. Like these are pocket stones for me. And I've got the rougher ones. They have a more intense energy because they've come right out from the earth. You can see, and today I have, uh, I have my clear quartz point and I've got my citrine, my beautiful citrine, and I've got my rough amethyst. And I just kind of keep them in my pocket. So you can put them in the pocket. You can wear them as jewelry, as you see me wearing them today. You can put them under your pillow. You can just keep them close by. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about crystals, again, you want to nerd out more, just come find me and we can talk about that. Uh, and anything else you want to talk about with regard to manifesting and activating your chakras. So I hope that gave you a little bit of uh, insight and uh, good advice on how to use your intuition and how to manifest. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.